Howdy friends and welcome to The One Outdoors. Today, we're gonna be putting on a hang-on deer stand. And um, I just got into the world of hang-on deer stands here just a few years ago. There is quite a learning curve. If you are interested in doing that, this is the video for you. I'm gonna give you just a few tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. I'm gonna be using the, um, the game winner um, easy set oversized hang on stand. These stands have a new feature now that, oh my, oh my goodness. I, I really wish they had this when I first started doing this. You used to have to hold up this whole chair while you were up in the tree. Complete insanity. And now some genius came up with this bracket idea, goes on the tree, and then you pull the stand up and hang it on the bracket. <laughs> yeah, what a novel idea, right? So, there's, I'm not gonna do a whole tutorial on you know unboxing and getting these things out of the box. Like Everybody can take one of these out of the box. It's pretty much already put together in there. There's just a few things that you have to do to get it together. We're gonna do the getting on the tree part. Now that's the, that's the real fun part. I, I will show you one thing that I do though with, with the ladder. So whenever you're, whenever, you're un, whenever you're unboxing the ladder, it's gonna come in pieces that are really easy to put together. Okay, this is a 20 foot ladder. What I do is, and don't worry about, don't, don't worry about my, old, my old granddaddy truck, it'll be fine. Uh, I put the bottom section together, one, two, three sections. So I do the bottom section in three sections and the top section in two sections. And I leave it just like that. I don't, I don't ever, uh, take them apart. I'll leave them just like that. You can carry these sections in the woods. It's super easy. You can prop this shorter section, the top section up against the tree. And then while you're standing on this section, you've already strapped it to the tree. You just pull that section up, bam. And in two moves, you're up, you're up on the tree and you're ready to pull your stand up. So that is a, that is a really handy little tip right there. Uh, instead of getting in the woods and putting these together section by section on the tree, dude, that is crazy. Do not do that. It'll, it'll wear you out and absolutely drive you nuts. So two sections, the bottom section in three. You can do this with a lot of these different ladders. They all, they all are very similar. And the, and the top section in two, that's just because, you know, it's just easier to pull that top section up if it's only two sections. So next. So just a quick rundown. This is pretty impressive, I thought. I've never seen one come with this before. This is probably just something new they're doing. It's probably why I paid extra for this thing. Um, it comes with a safety harness. This comes with a safety harness and a lineman's loop. That lineman's loop is how, and, and a lineman's strap. That's how you're gonna get on the tree and stay on the tree to put this up. So it already comes with everything you need to put this on the tree. You don't have to have anything extra. I really didn't know that it came with that. I'll be honest. It also comes with these armrests, okay? Move that, uh, th that flip out of the way. That's actually the wrong one. Armrest that you put on like this and then it flip up and flip down. Listen, <laughs> I don't want that on my tree stand because I could just see this thing when the big butt walks out flopping down them and going blam, 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 and making a big loud crashing noise. So I'm not putting these on or this footrest, which goes right here and it flips up, it flips up and down. Footrest goes here and it, it'll, it'll flip up and down. I don't want anything that flips up and down, man. I, I've already been down that road before with the flip up and down stuff and I don't want to do it. So this is the um, easy set oversized with the hand rest. They had, they had a, a, another one in there that didn't have the hand rests on it. It was out of stock. That's the one that I really wanted. So I bought this one and, you know, said, why not let's just give it a shot, but I'm not putting any of that stuff on there. It just, it just scares me. I don't like it. I think I might be feel a little hemmed in in that tree. I like to be loose and have a lot of options whenever I'm bow hunting. So let's go get this hung on the tree and, uh, and see how this new, this new bracket you put this on the tree. This is so genius. You put this on the tree, then you hang the stand on this. So this is on the tree, and then you bring the stand up, and it just goes like that. Oh my god, that's gonna be that's gonna be so much easier. I can't wait. Let's go give it a shot. I already got my lineman's harness on. I, actually, I don't have a lineman's harness on. I have a uh, a saddle on with the 
you know, it works just like it's really very similar to a lineman's harness. And uh, remember, once again, this stand comes with that. It comes with everything you need, but I have my own. I'm using my own. What I like to do is put everything I need. I have a little, I like my own because I have, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but I have this little bag on it. I'm going to put everything that I need in this little bag. And so, and I'm also going to tie this piece of rope to the tree stand that's going to be attached to my harness. And so that way I, I won't have to come back down the tree. Once I start ascending, I'm not going to have to come back down. I mean, that's going to be it. I'm going to stay up there and get it all done at one time without having to come up and down the tree. I just found, man, it is just the easiest way to get this done. These are already, it's nice whenever you got new stuff because these are already just put together real nice and tight. And I'll just undo these as I, as I need them up the tree. They just got a little thin rubber band on them. Bag full of goodies. All right, this is the bottom section. I got my rope right here. That's my tether that's gonna keep me on the tree. So on the ground here, sorry, my shirt, I'm gonna take the shirt off. I'm trying not to get ate up by mosquitoes. But I also got the thermocell going right here on the harness. If you don't think it works, Give it a try. I've had people tell me it don't work. Works great for me. All right, get this first section up. You want to make the bottom. You want to make sure the bottom of the tree is uh, that all this, all this mat down here is out as much as possible. You want this thing sitting right down on the ground. It helps maybe even to put a little bit of weight on it, or else it's going to settle a lot. First one around the tree. I like to go top down with the hook. I like to take that hook and put it through like so you know either way well honestly it'll work and leave yourself a little bit of slack when you start working this ratchet that way you get a few wraps in there you want to that's kind of what makes a ratchet strap work and you want to keep it nice and straight nice and straight don't be afraid to get that thing tight you want to hold the slack out you want to hold the slack out while you're doing that because you don't want it to bunch up. There we go. One more and nice and tight. Now I'll just take that slack and just run it back through that loop. And there we go. First one's on. That'll make sure that that's nice and tight. Now I'm going to take my rope. And tie my rope on here. I'll just do a nice little bowling. Something that's easy to untie, man. You want knots that are super easy to untie when you're way up in a tree holding on for dear life. Got a loop right here. Just do a little square knot. And then we can head up just as soon as we put on our tether. Number two. I know this is not a ratchet strap but these things actually do work pretty well. I, the first time I ever saw one, I was like, um, no, I am not using that, but they work good. They're just keeping the ladder on the tree and there's enough of them that they really, they really do good. And you don't have to do a ratchet strap for every single, um, you know, for every single one of these, it's just tighten and go. And that's all it is. Pull it tight around the back and there she is if you uh if it makes you feel better you know i well, ain't got enough but 
you can run that slack through it and tie you a few loops around there. That's kind of what I do. I don't like all that slack hanging down. Keep moving your, your lineman's belt up. You don't want to go past your last, um, your last anchor point. You get to your new anchor point here. And you know what? Of course, I didn't stand that other, I didn't prop that other stand up. So I am going to have to get down. To not get down, you would need to uh, prop your other ladder section against the tree. Let's get down and get our... Prop our other ladder section up. is getting a little crooked all right there we go don't look up because the bark's going to get you in the face all right she's on that looks like it's going to fit nice i'm going to have to just curve it just a little bit up top there Remember, don't grab the ladder. We're not grabbing the ladder yet. We don't want to go. We don't want to go further than our last section. Probably should have used the headgear to film this, but pull her tight. There we go. Now we can come up and lean back. Let's get our slack out of here. Oh, one reason why I use a I use a lime I use this harness to climb a lot with instead of securing a safety rope to the tree, which I'm gonna to try to get in the habit of this year. I'm gonna to try to come in and put a safety rope in on this tree. But that's why I like to get the slack out of the way. So it messes with my harness if I don't. All we got left is two ratchet straps, okay. Ratchet strap for the top, ratchet strap for the bottom. And just basically um, these clipped straps in the middle. That's what I do anyway. And I didn't read the instructions. And you see, I'm you know you can use both hands. You can lean back as long as you have this. As long as you have your um, as long as you have your lineman's belt done just right. It's actually it's not too bad, really. To be honest with you, it's not. It's not too rough. Here we go. I'll torque it. If you're scared of heights, this ain't gonna be for you, cuz. This ain't gonna be for you. It's nice and tight. That pine tree's got. Pine tree's really not optimal, man. You know, it's just really not. Um, but it's really, it's really my only option. It's not, okay, it's not my only option, but look at the view we got of the corn right there. Got a good view. I got all of this stuff in between me and the deer. I got good backdrop right here. I could have done it a little bit. I could have done it on this tree, but this tree's got a lot of stuff going on. I mean, I don't know, you know, if I can stay away from a pine tree, I will stay away from a pine tree if I can. But in this case, I just, I didn't feel like I could. I felt like I needed to get on this pine tree. So at this point, I start looking at where I'm gonna sit. I always like to put my stand right here, just under this top ladder. So. I like, I like my stand about right here. 
And we're gonna hang this bracket, which, oh my gosh, what, this is just genius. Like, this is genius. That we, I'm, glad they, I'm glad they finally started doing this, man. What a novel idea. Let's go ahead and have something up there that you can hang your tree stand on. Like, you bunch of geniuses. Wish they'd have been doing this years ago. Like so. This is the important part right here, okay? Hanging the ladder is one thing. With this, you wanna make sure that this bracket is nice and level. Let's get a few turns on this. And then we'll reposition. I want, this is where I'm gonna be sitting. So I want some fabric wrapped around this uh, this thing. Make sure it's level. Now let's torque it. Mercy. Now let's pull up the stand. This is always the fun part. That's on there. This stand is not incredibly light. But it looks like it's gonna be real comfy. When I get her home, up and over with it. Can you imagine doing this with no bracket? Yeah. Yeah, me neither, but I did it. Just like that. Dude, that is so cool. What? Look how easy that was. Look how easy that was. Man, <laughs> that is my first one of those. Right here, more ratchet strap. Of course it's gonna be right. Of course, right where the ladder is. Isn't that always the way it goes? Ooh. Gotta swing around a tree here, swing it around the side. Let's get her going a few times. Let's get some fabric on it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh, that's pretty tight. Ah, now it's tight. Woo! Tree grows in here, that's gonna pop. Look at here. Let's see how bad the transition is. I don't think it's going to be too bad. Always a little apprehensive with that first little bit of weight. She is. Be up here in my leafy suit. It's not bad at all. Pretty comfortable, man. Look at the foot platform on this thing. It's just, it's massive. Who the heck needs a, um, who the heck needs a footrest? Like this is good. And then got a bow shot all the way around. That's good. This is hunting in South Georgia, man. Look at look at this jungle we hunt in. And Joe Rogan says, oh, you guys hunt over corn. I mean, try to sneak up on a deer in this. Like, you can do it, but you're not gonna kill many deer in a year. I've done it, but if you wanna kill five to nine deer a year, 
you need a little bit of this. And then kill you a few uh, fair chase. That's fun too. I like, I like both. All right, let's get out of here. Joe Rogan. All right, here is the finished product. Not too bad. Corn. And then there I am, kind of like, it blends pretty well. Got a little bit of cover, got a tree between me and it, which is okay. It, it just helps it blend a little bit. Got a, a little bay tree or something back behind it. And I'm gonna look like a, I'm gonna look like a tree up there in my leafy suit. So that's pretty good. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you out. If you've never hunted out of a, a lock-on style um, tree stand, you know, there's a little bit of learning curve to it, but I like them. Look, I did that in about 20 minutes as far as start to finish setting it up. I didn't do it start to finish in 20 minutes the first time, but then again, I didn't. I was kind of learning it as I went. So hopefully this video will help you. Um, I'm not affiliated with Game Winner. They make, they make good stuff. I use it. Um, it's a little, it's a good bit less expensive than either like Lock On or Millennium or any, any of those brands. Um, so anyway, give it a shot. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks.